A mock disaster drill was held at Burke Airport. Nearly 100 people, including volunteers and safety agencies and law enforcement, took part. The scenario was an air show accident with debris spilling into the crowd. Todd Payne of Hopkins Airport says they, along with Burke, are required to conduct periodic drills in order to stay prepared for any eventuality. Uh, but it's an opportunity for us to communicate with uh, the ambulance and rescue corps. We have 13 different uh, community organizations, uh, rather uh, different cities involved in this. Volunteer Sally Loomis, dressed in special makeup, appearing as a wounded victim, the hospital worker says taking part in the drill improved her understanding of how to deal with a disaster. And we were the spectators watching the um, air show and the part of the plane fell into the stands. Jackie Humshill of Southwest General Hospital explains they got a better understanding of how to track patients during an emergency situation. How to stage the, uh, the vehicles and how to connect to the hospitals quickly, just how to mobilize all our forces. Yeah. Practice, practice. Joseph Zimmick is acting chief of the airport fire and rescue unit. He says they learned a lot about the effectiveness of their disaster preparedness plans. Sure, but you know, this is what these men and women train for every day. And, uh, and, 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 and that's why they do so well when it comes together. Ken Robinson, WTAM.com.